Hey, Laura from Front Office Rocks, and I wanna talk about reactivation today. What I mean by reactivation is to get patients back into your office that haven't been in for a long period of time. Now, the reason I wanna talk about reactivation is I feel that there's a lot of dental offices and dentists who are focused on new patients, new patients, new patients, and we love new patients, don't get me wrong. But we also should be focusing on the patients that we've already gotten in, but maybe they just haven't been in in a while. So I have two points that I wanna talk about with reactivation. First of all is let's talk about when a patient is considered inactive or when we would consider it to be reactivation versus overdue recall, okay? Overdue prophy, overdue preventative. A reactivated patient, or we consider it reactivated when the patient hasn't been in your practice for 18 months or longer. Now, I'm not saying that if a patient hasn't been in for 18, 24 months, 36 months, that you should inactivate them in your practice management software. Do not do that. Only inactivate the patients, you know, mark them as inactive if they tell you they're not gonna come back to the practice or they've had some major change and, and, they, and they're not coming back to you. But if they have not told you they're not coming back, always keep the patient active in your practice management software. However, most softwares out there and most consultants and coaches would agree to say that once a patient hasn't been in for 18 months, it's our job to reactivate them or get them back. So that's the first point is don't inactivate them unless they tell you they're not coming back, but recognize that at 18 months, that patient is, is considered inactive by industry standards. Now, the second thing is, is just because they haven't come to your practice doesn't mean they've gone anywhere else. Most patients don't leave you necessarily unless something's happened to go somewhere else, like if they've moved or their insurance changed. Most patients just have not gone anywhere. So that is the reason you don't want to inactivate your patients because it is our job, we, it is our purpose and our why to get the patients to come back into the practice. You know, life happens, they get busy. You know, they think it was six months ago they were in and really it was a year and a half ago. Think about things that you have in your life that's not dental, um, getting your nails done, getting your hair colored, getting your oil changed. Like every time you go to get these done, you think, God, I feel like I just did this, you know, three weeks ago when it was really three months ago. Same thing for our patients. They get busy. They forget about the dentist. They don't love coming to the dentist. And before they know it, it's a year or two or three years later. So we always wanna be continually trying to reactivate, to get our patients back in the office because nobody else is actually looking out for their dental health but us. So you should actively be trying to reach out to your patients. My suggestion is, is they get an email and a phone call from your practice at least once a month. Now, I've had some disagreements with people in the past about, well, how long do we try to do this? How long do we try to reactivate or get our patients back in? Isn't there a point where they would just say, I'm no longer a patient of yours, stop, stop calling me, stop emailing me? And I would say no, not until they've actually told you to stop calling them because they're just busy, life's happening, and we wanna make sure that the patients always know they're welcome to come back to the practice. We want them to think about us when and if something happens, we don't want them to be so embarrassed that they haven't been in that they don't call our office and they call somewhere new. Now, I had this discussion with somebody in the past in my practice, and I actually have a good example of this where we were back and forth on when do we stop trying to reactivate patients. And my, my opinion is never, or at least until they ask us to stop. And I kind of won this agreement because we had, a, won this disagreement, I should say, because we had a new patient that came in and we asked the new patient when they came in, like we always do, you know, where did you hear about us or how did you find our practice? And they said, I was referred to you by whatever his name was that he works with. And he said, this patient, this person said that you're his dentist and you guys are super great and he highly recommends you. I looked up that patient, the person that referred this new patient to us, and that person had not been in our office for four years. So this patient of ours has not been in our practice for four years, yet when somebody asked him, who do you recommend for a dentist? He said, go to my dentist, they're great. So he still thinks of us as his dentist, even though we haven't seen him for four years. So that was a solidification for me to say, don't stop trying to reach out to your patients. 
don't stop trying to get them back in. You know, we have a backdoor problem in our industry where we're losing more patients out of the back door than we're getting in the front door. And one of the main reasons is we don't work that work actively to try to reactivate our patients to get keep them in the schedule, to get them into the schedule. So my suggestion is to you for you is to not always focus on the front door and the new patients, but put together a reactivation campaign where you try to get those patients back who've disappeared, got busy, just kind of forgot about the dentist because they're out there, they still love you, they just need to be reminded that you're there and they need to schedule their appointment. So I hope that's a good reminder or motivation to get into your practice, practice management software and reach out to those patients. Do what you can to get those patients back in the practice because you're their dentist and you need to take care of them and you just need to remind them that you're there. So thank you again for joining me for another video. You can subscribe below if you wanna have new updates of when we put videos out. I try to put a few out every week and I thank you in advance for your time and joining with us and I hope you have an amazing day.